Time and today's day three of having the Land Cruiser on the road, registered, engineered, legal, the whole box and dice. Pretty damn happy. The car's awesome. I can't get over how nicely it drives and how comfortable it is. It's just a bag of fun. Uh, I haven't been thrashing at all either, and the fuel gauge isn't moving much, so not bad for a six liter with a cam in it. Is engineered with the cam registered with the cam as well which is awesome past the emissions test uh, the guys at uh, Regency Park when they were inspecting it I even had a couple of inspectors come up and tell me how cool they thought the car was while it was getting checked over so uh, pretty pumped really I guess some um, you know when it comes to building a car all that time and effort you put into uh, making everything right and just going the extra mile I mean it's not a show car but I just wanted everything to be a little bit factory looking and and you know neat and tidy and and done correctly so um pretty happy with that the other big thing was yesterday I um, I think it's the first time in uh, a long time since back in my apprentice days as an apprentice mechanic I bought myself a XD351 Fairmont gear and um, my dad went in that with me when I test drove it and I think since then that's probably the only time my dad's ever been in a V8 car that I've owned or anything modified that I've owned so um it was pretty cool. I got to take Dad out for a spin in the car. Dad's 85 now, but he's still uh, fighting fit and hopefully I uh, follow suit. But um, Dad, uh, I wouldn't say Dad got me into cars, but I think my very first car was a Mini 850. And for anyone who's ever had Minis, um, they're a brilliant car. And I bought that when I was 15 years old, didn't run. I think I paid 50 bucks for it and uh, got it running, drove it around on my learner's permit a little bit. But um, my dad, bought a Mini 850 back when they were brand new when he was still in England and brought it to Australia with him the year that he bought it so it was technically one of the first Minis in the country and um, yeah we often talk about Minis and we did buy one as a project together a while ago but Dad's not really a car guy like I am so we sort of lost interest a bit in it and sold it off but uh, yeah it was great it was nice to just take Dad out for a spin nothing too crazy no full driving or anything like that but just for him to jump in the car and go for a ride with me but um for now i guess the cool thing is, is um it's running it's driving the the only thing i've done to it which i uh, found was a slight problem and this is a really big problem with the car was there's a little knob down here which adjusts the level of the amplifier and it's got a blue light on it and because of the angle of it it was like really bright and in my eyeballs at night time so i put a piece of tape over it so other than that everything else is good so pretty happy uh, just cruising around Adelaide streets the other day when I took it in for registration um, for you guys in America uh, was 38 or 39 degrees Celsius here which is about 5 million degrees Fahrenheit which is um you know kind of Arizona temperatures and um, it's actually drier here than it is in Arizona people wouldn't believe that but um, Adelaide is the hottest and driest uh, city in the driest continent in the world um, if you're uh, born and raised in Adelaide you kind of get used to it it's just like standing under a hand dryer every day during summer but um, yeah the car performed well uh, everything was great didn't get hot so um, yeah really happy and just yeah like I said just enjoying driving it around I mean um, yeah it's uh, you know not driving it around to get looks or anything but <laughs> notice a fair few other 80 series <laughs> Land Cruiser guys giving you a thumbs up and but a few people yell nice rig which is pretty cool so um yeah I guess from here on it's just more a case of enjoying it and gonna get out and do some videos of it but um enjoy it have fun I want to do some road trips in it definitely want to catch up with some guys like Sam Miles from Built Not Board Ronnie Dahl uh, really want to kick over to um Victoria catch up with the Burson guys pretty soon just uh obviously waiting to see what happens with the uh, border closes and everything plus also Christmas is coming so everyone's gonna pack up for Christmas but um, I'm sure the new year will bring uh, a lot of things January's unfortunately uh, a little bit more open for me now because normally we'd be doing fun stuff like they going to summer nats and things like that but um, everything's postponed a year so uh, January will be a little bit freer it's gonna be hot but um, yeah good time for a road trip I think 
So yeah, while I pull up next to the uh, full Drive L300 band here, <laughs> about the same height, but um, yeah, just having fun. But uh, I'm gonna do a quick little addition to this video as well because I have just picked up one of these babies. Right now I'm filming this on a Hero 8 with a media mod, which is pretty cool because it gets good audio and all that sort of stuff. But the Hero 9, the new bad boy, so um, give that a run and see what it goes like. But also have a mess around and show you a little bit more about the three-footed monster because a lot of people have bought them now, which is awesome. That's really good because that supports me and my YouTube channel. Uh, but also just wanted to explain to people a little bit more about what it was and um, stay tuned. I'm going to pull over somewhere get out the Hero 9, have a mess around with that, and then stick that on the three-footed monster. So, uh... Okay, it's uh, late in the afternoon. Uh, just gonna do this little bit about the three-footed monster. Here it is. It is a magnetic mount. It's not specifically for GoPros or other action cameras. It is a mount. It's got a quarter thread on it, which is a typical camera type thread, but you can put lights on it, phones, dial indicators, tools, whatever you can imagine to fit on it. Uh, it is 6061 T6 billet aluminium base, all CNC machine, very nicely done, finished anodized. It has a tether hook on the side there, so you can tether it to whatever you're putting it on, just in case it gets bumped off or something like that. It has a fully adjustable 360 degree head on it. That is also a really nice finished aluminium head. And the magnets on the bottom, they are a neodymium magnet. They are 10 kilos pull strength each, and they are covered in a very high quality heat and uh, scratch resistant rubber you could call it and all that is finished with like a nice little bit of a suspension set up there so it'll go on weird angles so I'll just uh, smack it on the fence and on the car and show you what it does bang and I can't do it one-handed but uh, there you go it is on the car there and just pull it off straight off back on again really quick setup even on this fence over here Bang. Those magnets are amazing. There's not a lot of magnetic stuff around here, but uh, so you want to go on the fence and on that pole there, like that. Front of the car. Boom. Under the car, diff cam. Off again. So many angles. As long as it's magnetic, you can smack it there. There it is. It is a, a professional bit of equipment. It's not plastic or anything like that. So this will last you a very long time. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll get one and you'll find out all of the cool things you can do with it too. Three footed monster. All right, so there you have it. There's a three footed monster and also the cars I wouldn't say finished because yeah, I always want to just make little changes. Probably going to add some uh, lights and stuff to it now. Um, good thing is here in Adelaide, you can still do all that stuff legally. I'm really pushing the whole legal thing as well because if you go onto the uh, Transport SA documents, pages and stuff like that, it gives you all the specifications of everything you can do and um, that sort of thing. So watch this space and as always uh, with any YouTube channel, myself and everyone else's, if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because that actually really matters when you subscribe. If you don't hit the notification bell, then it's as good as not even bothering subscribing. Um, that just basically, it won't mean that you'll get spammed, it just means whenever a new video comes up, you'll get a notification that it's up. And uh, yeah, really appreciate you watching, and uh, thanks for uh, supporting the build. Cheers.